In this video, we're going to unbox a USB 3 PCIe card and go ahead and install it into our computer. So first we'll start with the unboxing of our card here. Now I got this card from Amazon, it's a Malia USB 3 card. Go ahead and unbox it here. Most of them should be uh, similar to this. It will depend on, you know, the ports, you know, the amount of ports they have. And of course the uh, connection, you know, adding an PCIe USB 3 card is a great way to expand the available USB ports that you have on your computer. Maybe you have run out of USB 3 ports, or perhaps you only have USB 2.0 ports. This is a great way to include USB 3 ports on your USB 2.0 machine, if that's all you have, or a great way to expand your available number of USB ports. So here is the card. This is where we'll plug it in to the computer there. Included with this is a driver, little CD there which it, those should auto install. If they don't, we always have the driver there. Yeah, we're on Windows 10 here. And we have a power connector, uh, which we will attach. You really technically don't have to, but if something happens where something's drawing too much power, uh, you know, from this, it, it might, you know, cause, cause problems. So go ahead and just plug that in. So now we've seen the card, let's go ahead and install it and check it out. So obviously first you want your computer turned off and completely powered down, unplugged. Take the hood off of it, all right. Be careful with it if it's connected to anything else. And all we need to do is find an available PCIe port. And we have a couple here and one over here. We're gonna use this one right here. And that plugs in right here. Now this part right here of the card, that is for plugging the power into this uh, power adapter cable that came with this. So first we'll plug in the card. Very easy, very simple to do. You can, you can do this uh, yourself, very easy to do. First, I will remove the plate from front of this port here. There we go. And then we'll insert our card. Just make sure you put it in the uh, correct direction, which is only one direction it can go. Just look at the, just look at uh, your leads there. Once you get the card in the slot, press it down firmly. And if your computer requires it, put a screw in there. Mine does not, it has clips. So I'll just clip it down and I'll put everything else back together here. First, we actually need to put on our power adapter here. And this plugs into the uh, rear of the card here, just like that. And then the other end will go into a empty power supply uh, coming from our power supply there, power supply plug. And by the way, you actually don't need this adapter if you have a free SATA power uh, supply port. If you don't, you can use the uh, Molex connector here and use one of those, which I think is what I'll do. I don't know if I have any more SATA. Uh, actually, I might, but we're just going to use the Molex here because it's uh, a bit longer. We'll just plug us in. There we go, everything is nice and secure. You might have to push pretty hard on that. Just make sure you're not bending, you know, those those uh, leads in there. All right, it will snap and it will stay together. Okay, so now we have our card installed. We have it, we have power going to it. So now all I need to do is put the case back on here, plug in the fan here, of course, and we'll uh, turn this on, see how it does. Okay, so our computer is now on. We had absolutely no problems at all. We are on Windows 10, so whenever we turn it on, Windows 10 automatically installed those device drivers for us. If it does not, or if you're on a different operating system, you can always pop into the uh, CD, DVD there and install your driver that way, but Windows 10 should automatically install that for you, okay. So before we started, I went ahead and tested a USB 3 device plugged into a USB 2.0 port, and we got a spike of about 60 per second, and then it leveled off to about 28. Okay, so now we'll try this again. Now, of course, USB 3 is much faster than USB 2. I did this same file right here, and let's just pop it over onto our USB 3 drive, plug into a USB 3.0 port, and you can see we're getting much a much higher transfer speed. Now, what I'm getting might be higher or lower, just, just right there, going from an average of 28 on our first test with USB 2.0, to an average of what that was about it was almost 100 so but we can say we are you know 98 or so so that is a huge increase right there what is that almost like three times or so so there you go that is how you can easily install a usb 3.0 card on your computer and increase the number of usb ports available